What's up, everybody? Oh, this eerie ass air conditioner I have in my fucking ear. Hold on. Can y'all hear me? It ain't nothing but some love. And now the bathroom wanna start going. Send the fucking sensational, bro. Good. No, we got silence. No library. Ugh. Oh, fuck. I forgot how my fucking intro went. Fuck. Hold up. Now I gotta Google that bitch. My fault. Oh, I have it here on paper. What the fuck? Who the fuck is this ugly ass? I'm at work right now. I'm sorry, y'all. So if you hear me say some like weird stuff, like who the hell is this? Lo siento, lo siento. Okay, we good. Uh, my intro is fucking trash. So I had one of my, you know, I had one of my aunties. I'll be fucking make me a, a, a template. Who the hell is cracking? They just said, let's get cracking. No pistachios. Ugh. Alright, so here, here's the fucking intro I wrote. This eerie ass, Shakespeare ass, fucking shit I didn't wrote. Alright, hello everyone. I am the Afro Vigilante and welcome to the Vigilant Voices Podcast, the podcast where I'm not afraid to talk my shit. This is episode number one. You can find all past and future episodes on SoundCloud, Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, and anywhere you can get your podcast. You can find me on all social media sites at It's The Vigilante. That's I-T-S-D-A-V-I-G-I-L-A-N-T-E. That that was pretty lit. I'm not even going to hold. That's not like that Boosie song. When he started spelling on his name, that nigga had... That that shit was lit. Uh, yeah, that's the uh the intro. But you know, I don't give a fuck about an intro. I might do like a like a created one. I might take the the beginning part of Uzi's Seven A.M. when the dude was like, "Hey, I think this will work." I might do that because that that intro is pretty fucking lit. Um, yeah. Let's just... I don't have that much time. Uh, fuck, my nose is stopped up like a fucking... LA 7 a.m. traffic jam. Hold up, chat. Ugh. There was a... Nigger in my nose. Fuck it. This is not a... This is not a family... Uh, what's this? A podcast I'm doing? Alright, uh. Okay, let's see. So E3 was like, I don't know, like two, one or two weeks ago. There was some cool games. Uh, they announced uh, more on Halo Infinite. It will be coming out this year because last year, due to everything going on, they were like, yeah, we are not ready for this OG. Give us like another year. So that was cool. Uh, they said the multiplayer is going to be free, which is like pretty cool because I don't think nobody really plays Halo for the campaign. So that's cool to see. Uh, I, the customization that they had was pretty lit. You know, they have like typical customization options like colorways, helmets, stuff. They have like classic game modes too I forgot what that it's like capture the flag and then I forgot the one with the what the ball was but that one was pretty cool uh then they had uh fuck I'm saying uh too much I'm finna uh yo bitch oh they announced this Guardians of the Galaxy game it looks cool but you only play as 
I don't I don't watch Marvel movies. What's the what's the dude the main character's name in Guardians of the Galaxy? It's like Star something. I know it's like his government name is Peter. That's why I don't fuck with him because his name is Peter. Peter Weeder. Uh it, it looks just like the there was an Avengers game that came out last year that was like super fucking trash. But you can play as more characters, but it's not by the same people. I think it's by like it's not by Square Enix, it's by like somebody else. So they're uh they should be like they should know like yo, all this was trash bro, so don't don't do what, what Square Enix did. And then with Guardians of the Galaxy, what I've heard is they have like a really great soundtrack. So I'm expecting the music to be like a fucking one, if anything. Oh damn, y'all just thought they're raping people? Cool. Uh of course they announced Madden twenty two. Shit looked the exact same as twenty one. I'm not gonna hold you. I I'll probably buy Madden like when it's on sale. Cause EA loves putting their games on sale because nobody plays their shit. Which is the truth. They had, for the cover athletes, they had Tom Brady, which, okay, yeah, bro won the Super Bowl. And then they had Patrick Mahomes. But it's like nothing, it's not like an action shot like it was before. It's them sitting on a fucking bench. Like, bro, you could have, you could have had, like, them, like, throwing the ball or something. Like, it, like sitting on a bench does not make, Two star athletes look like star athletes, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, that's all I had on Madden. Now this loser ass uh shit that they um announced at the very end, this Elden Ring shit. I, I'm not buying this shit. It's like one of those like Dark Souls games where it's gonna like make you make you rage and throw your controller. I will not be playing the. I don't have like the energy just to be screaming at no like, be weathered monsters and shit over, cause I can't slash my sword correctly. And then it's just like, what the thing about it is like I see a bunch of streamers on Twitter and shit be like, oh I can't wait to play this. They haven't beat Ghost of Tsushima. They haven't beat it in Sekiro. They haven't beat any of the Dark Souls games. So it doesn't make no sense to start a new one if you're going to, like, just delete it. That's just a waste of, like, 80 bucks. Uh, Nintendo announced it. Nintendo had their show. But they told people before they like 30 minutes before they started streaming, like, yo, don't stream our shit. So a whole bunch of like, a whole bunch of people on Twitch are like, oh, I can't like watch it while we watch together. Like, when my fans are like, no, fuck y'all. So I was like, fuck. Um, part of the indie games were cool, but that's what mostly Nintendo was for, like, for indie games. Well, besides Mario and stuff. The indie games are cool. There was just, I forgot what it was called, but it was like you play as a detective. It's like it's like a Sherlock Holmes type game, but it's pretty cool. But they said it was in Japan, but they're making like an English version of it. So I might pick that up day one if nothing else comes out around that time that I'm not gonna be doing. Uh yeah. For Smash Brothers news, they're adding the nigga from Tekken. What's his nigga's name? Kaiuzo. Or something. They should have added his dad. That's that was an L move. Hopefully, they add his dad as like what are like the like the side power ups you get like when you when you're doing the Kirby story missions. That'll be dope because there was so many other people y'all could have used from Tekken that would have been so much better. I know he's like the face of the franchise, but think about if he would have used like like Tiger King or the Panda or Bob, 
Big Bob, bro. Oh yeah, I would have been going off of Big Bob if I played Smash Bros. But I'm not a loser, so uh, yeah. And then the last one that I have on my notes, the God of them all, Battlefield 40. 2042, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. This ain't a World War II simulator no more. That's what everybody was praying for because you can only, like, fight in Vietnam and, like, the the shores of Normandy for so long before that shit starts getting old. So it's going to be, like, uh, what was the last game they had? Battlefield Hardline. Uh, that one was okay. <coughs> but that was when I was like, I don't know, 16 or something. I'm 21 now. Hey, that shit's fucking... It's not old, but it's just like... Like, nobody plays... It's only like a few people that still play it that are like super tryhards. So they announced that on PlayStation 5, there's going to be 128 player match players in like a single match, which is cool, but one of them servers needs to be like OG, I mean not OG, but OP as fuck, because if I start lagging on day one, I'm calling PlayStation for a refund, I don't care. And then if you have PlayStation 4... It's only going to be like 64, so quite reasonable. If you think about it, there's 100 players in a Warzone lobby on all platforms. So it should run better on PlayStation 4 if everybody has good internet, but I know you niggas are poor, so that that's y'all fault. Hold on. I know it's fucking hurts. I'm finna, finna call the night off, oh, bro. Fuck this. They did announce that the whole thing, there's no campaign. So when, when the game initially comes out, there's gonna be no campaign and no battle royale. It's gonna be straight multiplayer. Honestly, I kind of like that. I'm not really a big person. For Battle Royale games. Especially if there's like... The only ones people really play is... Warzone, Apex, and Fortnite. If it's not on that caliber of any of them... It's gonna flop automatically. So... I say don't do it. If they wanna add like side story missions for like... Special characters, I say do it. But don't make it like... Don't make it like eight hours long. Just complete like one one story mission and stuff. Uh, there's gonna the main thing that people were like loving about the whole trailer was that there is gonna be like weather changing type environments. So, for instance, there was like this huge fucking tornado like taking over the entire like downtown type area. That was honestly the best thing I've ever seen. So how they made it is they had your player having a, I don't know what you call it, like a jumpsuit, a wind, a wing suit or something like that. That, and then he was like flying around in those tornadoes so he could travel from like one building to the other and like, you know, finish like killing people and stuff. That was pretty cool. Hopefully they keep that in like the final product because the what they showed us is only like a pre-alpha build so hopefully by october i want to say 22nd when it comes out hopefully they still have that stuff in there because that, that was that was beautiful as fuck i'm not even gonna hold you uh so other stuff that they announced xbox announced a fucking fridge bro a fucking fridge I cannot, out of all the things y'all could have announced, y'all have like so many companies y'all own and stuff. Y'all have Bethesda. 
but fucking Thessie, y'all could have announced a new Fallout game. And like, nope, we got a refrigerator though. You trying to, you trying to chill your, uh, what did the Louisiana bitch say? This right here, these is cold drinks. These is cold drinks. You trying to chill your cold drinks? I'm like, man, come on. I'm trying to figure out, like, cause I'm not poor. I might get it and put it in my room and just like flex on people. So when your auntie come over and she be like, what's this? I'm like, it's my Xbox fridge. You like it? And you know what's going to happen. I'm going to probably hit her ass on the on the fridge like I do with every other bitch. Uh, <laughs> Razor. I don't even know what Razor makes. I mean, Razor makes computers? Hold on. God damn, I'm getting sick. I pray to God I don't have COVID though. Knock on wood, I don't. Oh God. Hold up, let me check this because I'm being recorded. I haven't checked in like 30 minutes. Hold up. We all quiet over here. We got the sirens running too. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, Razor, yeah. Razor, they make computers headphones and like other stuff like what's it like PCs type stuff they announced a mask which is like it's like a headphone set but it's like a mask so basically you're gonna be talking like Bane in what movie was that when it was like the I wanna say the mask of the fed no it wasn't mask of the fed the closest thing I can think that would represent Razor and Bane will probably be the Dark Knight Rises. So if somebody buys it, you're gonna be hearing people like, <gasps> he's a, he's 30, he's one hit. Like, bro, come on, bro, chill, chill, bro, get off the mic, get off the mic, chill. That's what, that's what people be telling me, like, bro, why are you breathing so hard? Like, bro, I am nervous, sir. Cause niggas like, niggas love to start yelling at you, like, in Fortnite, I don't build at all. So, like, if I face a team and I don't build, niggas will start yelling at me. And I don't care because I can still come out with a dub by myself. Y'all can't. That That's the tough part about it. I'm the best on the, on the league. Just wait until y'all. Wait till I get... When I get famous, it's going to be over for y'all niggas. Uh, in other gaming news... They, uh, CD Projekt Red, you know, known for making The Witcher and, well, The Witcher, like, actual series, like, all of it, they announced, well, they didn't announce, they re-released Cyberpunk 2077 on the PlayStation Store. Now, if you guys haven't been up to date with Cyberpunk 2077, It came out around this time last year, and it fucking sucked. Like, it was, I played it on PlayStation 4, and it was just glitch after glitch after glitch after glitch after glitch. I was like, fucking hell, dude. You cannot have these many glitches in one video game. It was so bad, PlayStation was like, yeah, we're taking it off the store until y'all get y'all shit fixed. Hold the fuck up. Who the fuck is this coming in my presence? Hold up, Chad. Let me see. Did you ever slip with you today? Is it up to date? What's... Alright, I'll make you a new one. It's no problem. Yeah, no problem. I don't know, this nigga, this nigga kind of scary. I'm like, well, why? I'm going to call the cops. Uh, what's the unit number? Uh, 302B. 302B.
you know, you gotta you gotta make sure you keep these people in check. Oh shit, I filled this one out. Should have told me something. My whole signature's on this bitch. Fuck it. He got a new one, so. This was on 6 6. Oh yeah. Today's the 25th, and you got something from like 25 days ago. That's. Yeah, I'm not finna get in trouble for that. What was that? Oh, Cyberpunk, yeah. So they released it on a, on all like the whole PlayStation store, but there's a warning on it when you buy it that says, "Don't buy this product if you do, if you plan on playing it on the I was gonna say base on the base PlayStation Four." So they're telling people buy it only if you have a PlayStation Four Pro or a PS Five. Which they should have just made it exclusively for the PlayStation Five because I heard uh, people that are playing it on the Pro are, are still having those fucking issues. Me, I rebought it on the PlayStation Five and it, it works ten times better. It's not like the glitches; all the glitches aren't gone, but a huge chunk of I would say like ninety three percent of the glitches are gone um uh, i'm at the part where you meet the uh i'm trying to think about the dude's name this asian dude that saved you after uh after you went to the arasaka tower and planted the chip in your head you meet him in a uh, like in a diner of some sort and I get. I, I haven't beat it though. I I turned the game off as soon as like. Oh soon. As soon as I said meet him at the at the diner and stuff. So when I get another chance to play it, I'll uh, I'll check it out then, and I, I'll probably come back to like a later like update and like a different, probably like the next podcast because it it really doesn't take me that long to finish video games. To be honest, like, when I first played Cyberpunk, I would say it probably took me, like, two days at max, and that's including, like, a large majority of the side missions and stuff, too. Because with Cyberpunk, like, with games like Cyberpunk, uh... Fallout, Red Dead Redemption, you can play however you want to play it. So if you just want to like kill it, everybody, you you can, and it will make the game easier. But you won't get like like the exclusive stuff if you like just run through it. Oh uh, yeah, that's all I have for video game news. Unless I'm like missing something. Uh, let me see. That's tough. It says Madden continues to be the ver- the worst of video game franchise out there. That that's tough. You would think Madden, the only football game out, is like supposed to be superior and stuff. Game Informer is hiring a graphic designer and associate editor. So if you know anybody, do it. Uh, they announced Witcher Season 2. Don't care about that. But, yeah. Uh, and other news, probably the worst news I have on here is DC. And that's, that's terrible, nigga. So... The people that make the the inbraided version of Harley Quinn, the cartoon, they sent in their paperwork for 
Uh, they have, so uh, how animation works, you have to send your paperwork to like the higher ups and they have to get it approved. Everything else got approved, but there's one scene where Batman was supposed to start eating Catwoman's pussy. And when you think it's a mature rated like show, you're like, oh, okay, like that's the least he can do. Like this man breaks people's arms in the PG version, and he can't eat pussy in the mature rated version. That's that's tough. Uh, so DC's response was like, oh, uh, we don't want our, our heroes don't do that, basically. Like, heroes don't eat pussy. Like, bro, Deadpool does it. He's a hero. You know, Iron Man is doing it. Uh, Poison Ivy is definitely, like, the stuff, Poison, people like Poison Ivy, Ivy. Catwoman and Harley Quinn do in, in the PG version, especially like the video games, is fucking crazy. So like, like in the Batman Telltale series, Catwoman and Batman like did it like live on screen for you, for people to see, and that was rated T for T. And DC let that shit slide. Which is crazy because you were sucking on Catwoman's titties in the video game, but you can't suck on her on her on her clit in the cartoon. But it's just like only way you can watch Harley Quinn is through the subscription service. And you have to be like eighteen or older to like purchase the subscription service, so that was that was fucking retarded. Um they're, they should have, for their response, they really should have said, like, oh, w- this character's focused more on the kids and stuff. And people were like, people would have been like, alright, cool, like, we understand that. But for them to say, like, oh, uh, heroes don't do that, yeah, they're gonna face backlash from, like, we're gonna be talking this about, like, years from now, I'm like, hey, remember when Batman cut any cool that's the and then Zack Snyder, the guy who made Justice League twice, he came out and said like, "Yo, let the let that let that man eat that pussy," and everybody was like, "Yo, Zack Snyder's wild," but it's Zack Snyder, probably the greatest director of our generation, just said, "Let Batman eat that damn pussy." Eat that pussy four four five. Ugh. I'm just kidding. I, I don't I don't approve of pedophiles here. Hold up. I I. Fuck. What the fuck? Ugh. When that was my watch supposed to be coming? What the fuck? Uh. Hold on, let me check these cameras before I go. Okay. It's all quiet and shit. I'm, I'm tired. So, in other DC news, they have announced Titan Season 3, which is probably the best thing DC, the DC uh, like TV show that have made besides... Flash, Gotham. Uh, you can throw T Titans in there, but I'm talking about like live action. So, again, this is on like the subscription, like HBO Max service. If you don't want to buy like the uh, just the play DC uh, side, so. Basically, the HBO Max has all of DC in it, so it's better to buy HBO Max than you get all of the DC stuff and then, like, extra stuff along with it. So that that's a good bang for your buck. It's only, like, 10 bucks a month, so I do it. And I'll be watching, like, Mortal Kombat and stuff. Unless you're, like, a child, and you're probably doing, like, Disney Plus on your mommy's credit card and shit, which I, I don't blame you, like... 
Get your money how you want it, young blood. That's all I care about. Man, somebody street racing. I'm finna call the cops. Uh, so they, I see there was like two or three different trailers out. I watched one. So basically, it was just, it was like super, it was like super correct quick it was just like glimpses of everything so if you like pause it and slow it down you see that big racer is like developing this whole nightwing stuff so in season two when he got like locked up in jail he had put like he was in jail with like a few hispanic people or not i should say like latin american people because i don't know if they were hispanic or not and they were like, yo, we need a hero, like, like the blue, like, they said like blue bird or something like that. They said Azul or something like that. And he was like, oh, I know what you're talking about. And I can be that guy. Because he was, he was tired of being Robin. It was time for him to go. The bro was like 21 and still, still being somebody's sidekick. So that was good, and then he picked up uh, Batman picked up another guy named Jason Todd, which everyone knows is Red Hood. So in season three, they have they announced that. Well, they didn't announce, but they had a scene where Jason Todd goes inside of this carnival, which everyone knows is Joker's Funland. So we might be seeing some type of debut of the Joker and we might be seeing like I don't want to say probably like the full the full Joker Jason Todd feud but we might be seeing like the beginning parts of it and they might introduce they might do like a brief introduction of of Red Hood probably like the like the last episode of season 3 or probably like the beginning of season four, if it gets picked up, because you know, with DC, they like canceling stuff like, like a goddamn motherfucker. Uh, they also, so with season three, probably the main thing that they're gonna be worried about is Starfire versus her family. Cause Starfire was supposed to be queen, but she didn't want to be queen, she wanted to stay on Earth, so they gave it to her sister. So now her sister's out to come kill her. So it's her sister and her, like her best friend, or I don't know if it's her best friend or her brother or something. But yeah, they're supposed to be going in and out and stuff. Uh, that's all I got for DC. Uh, I don't have anything else. I'm kind of tired of talking, so... If you like this, if you're, if you're listening on uh, Apple Podcasts, make sure y'all rate this five stars for the first episode. Would you call this an episode? or I guess you'd call it an episode because there's like different parts. So yeah, this is cool. Apple Podcasts, rate this five stars. Appreciate you. I might put out something on YouTube. I might not. It depends on how I feel. But yeah. Uh, thanks for listening. And I'll, I might see y'all in the next one. I don't know. If, I got to see how this one does first before I make another one. All right. Bye.